Philippines defeated Indonesia 76 to 51. And we have with us head coach Tab Baldwin and Justin Baltazar. First of all, Justin, your comments about the game. Tung um, una na naka problema kami sa first half. Uh, hindi namin may execute yung mga play namin. And yung second half, uh, ginawa namin ng maayos yung pinapagawa ng mga coaches namin. And yun, uh, maganda naman yung kinalabasan na nagawa naman namin yung nakabawi kami sa second half. Nagawa namin yung mga play namin. Yun. Well, I agree with uh, Balti. You know, we, uh, we looked a little bit like uh, what I thought we might look like early in this campaign you know we uh, we didn't settle down we tried to push the tempo and I think that um, we're not yet ready to be an up-tempo team and then to flow into some half-court uh, cohesion and you know talk to the team after the game the one word that uh, you know kept coming to my head in the first half was uh, discipline you know we really lacked uh, self-discipline and we lack the discipline of the culture that we're working very hard to establish and without that I think we're pretty ordinary and we don't want to be ordinary we want to uh, we want to be elite we want to deserve to be an international basketball team that um, people will respect and so I think it, at halftime we we discussed a few things and uh, we came out in the halftime with out of halftime with a, a different attitude towards uh, one another and towards what we've been working for and uh, we played much better but I think I think we need to be able to blend the two I think we need to be able to be a team that can play with tempo but also with discipline and we certainly aren't there yet um, but it's very early in the campaign for these young young basketball players so it's a great learning experience for us and uh, we will improve because of that first half lack of performance what was your assessment of the team uh, during the first and second half? You know, it looked like the team was really struggling early. Uh, did you adjust anything in particular, like in your game plan uh, during the halftime break? Well, I think I, you know, I kind of addressed that, that the first half really lacked discipline and cohesion, and I think that was more mental than it was uh, because of our systems or because of anything Indonesia did. But uh, that's what we talked about at halftime. That was. Uh, really the adjustment I asked the players to make it really wasn't anything tactical it was um, for them to just settle down and, and understand that what we have work to do is what we should do and um, until you do that you're you're an ill-disciplined bunch of individuals and I don't think we're uh, talented enough to be an elite international team if we play like individuals uh, for Balti, you hit those two back-to-back three-pointers when Indonesia was just down by five. Uh, was there any urgency on your end na kailangan lumayo na kayo from your opponents? Um, nung uh, last game kasi, uh, parang hindi ako makasut sa three points nung kalaban Korea. So, sabi ng coaches, na, coaches ko na bumawi ako. Na, saka thank you rin sa mga teammates ko dahil uh, Coach Tab, Dwight Ramos practically did everything from quarterbacking at one stretch to scoring, playing defense, and diving for loose balls. How would you grade his performance? Yeah, I, I thought that Dwight uh, had an exceptional game, and you know, I, I, that can get lost in um, the fact that uh, there wasn't cohesion out there, and I think. Um, you know, Dwight's performance, uh, again, it points out that, that he's a player that is pretty comfortable at, at uh, any level of basketball. Um, and he, he did a good job, you know, sort of uh, playing in a way that, that bridged the gaps in the first half. Um, but again, you know, I, I would encourage Dwight to be more of a leader and to make sure that everybody else does their job and not just try to fix all the problems himself, you know, and that's that's a recurring theme with Dwight. Uh, you know, hopefully you, you play games where he doesn't have to fix things and everybody's doing their job, but, you know, he stood out and possibly, you know, for the right reasons, but the wrong scenario. Lebron Lopez is the youngest player in over 30 years to play for the seniors' Gilas team. 
What are your thoughts on his debut and how big for the Gilas program is having teenagers like him already making an, some sort of impact? Uh, we're not trying to put any particular genre of individual in the team. We're trying to put players that we believe have a future that will help Gilas, uh, you know, stand up to international competition. We think LeBron deserves to be there, although he's very young. Um, he's going to make mistakes, but I thought the most impressive thing about LeBron tonight was he, yeah, I could see that there was excitement there, but he really made an effort to be composed and to play composed and to do the little things right at both ends of the floor. And um, that's a great sign for a young player because we all know that LeBron can be, you know, a highlight film if he just goes out there and runs around wild and, and does crazy stuff. But, uh, you know, I thought his discipline in particular, and he didn't play in the first half, so, you know, maybe he heard those words at halftime. And, uh, you know, he went out there and I thought he played with great composure and uh, he was productive. So, um, you know, LeBron is there because we believe he belongs there and we believe in his future. And what he did tonight is, a, is an example of a good start for him, um, but only, uh, you know, a drop in the bucket of what we expect in the future. We have a tendency sometimes here to get carried away with uh, the spectacular on the basketball floor. And the only thing that we want in our program to be spectacular is uh, the results and the performances. And, um, you know, with LeBron buying in the way that he is buying in, uh, we, may, we may sacrifice some of the highlights, but I think that, we'll, you know, eventually we'll have, long term, we'll have a, a tremendous basketball player on our hands. And I think that's what we all want, really, at the end of the day. Um, the state of Carl Tamayo, what is the initial assessment from that angle? Uh, Carl apparently has a grade one sprain, so um, it's not overly serious, but uh, he's, he's in pain. He still feels pain in the ankle. So uh, it, may, it may be upgraded um, in turn once it's examined further, but uh, I, I think that certainly he won't be active at all tomorrow, and whether he will be right for Sunday, I, I would I would say it's not probable, but uh, until the doctors give me more information, I don't know. First of all, Justin, you've been converted as a wing player. How is your transition from playing as a big man now playing some wing for, for Coach Tab Baldwin? Um, uh, three, um, matagal ko na kasing ano to, yeah, pin, pin practice. Uh, so, Sabi ng coach namin na kaya, uh, kaya ko naman maging wing, wing man so kaya, kailangan kong trabaw, trabawin para pagpasok sa court medyo mataas mga, ano, natin, mga height natin sa ano. Yeah. Coach, can you add to the transitioning of, of Justin to a uh, small forward? Yeah, I actually think he's, he's made the transition pretty smoothly, particularly at the offensive end. He has a great offensive skill set, but I think he's potentially even a better defender uh, especially at this point. Uh, but he's still trying to get used to guarding the smaller, quicker guys here in Asia. But I think when we get, you know, up against the European players, uh, they won't have the, you know, the jitterbug quickness that the Asian guards have. So it'll be more comfortable for Balti defensively. Um, so, I, I, you know, I think this is a process that takes time. But uh, I don't see any problems for him. He's a smart player. Uh, he's a tough player, and um, he's going to bulk up some more. He's going to get, you know, physically stronger, and I think that's going to present real problems uh, for other teams, and it's going to help him to match up in the European uh, theater when we get over there. Looking at the coming game against Korea on Sunday, of course, you've already made it to the Asia Cup, and uh, having played the last two games, what kind of, um, I'd like to know what, kind of a training are you going to do tomorrow? Are you going to work on with your team? And what kind of mindset going into Sunday's game? Uh, thank you for your comments. Um, we really only have one mindset right now. <clears throat> and it's the same one we've been talking about for a long time. We have dual priorities. And those priorities are to do everything that we can in the short term to prepare for the long term. Uh, but also to try and win games. So 
fortunately, as, as we go through the process of preparing for the game on Sunday, that's a learning curve for the players by the, you know, in itself to learn how to prepare for a game, uh, to learn scouting reports and how to take that onto the floor. So it's both a short-term goal of the team to, to be able to play as well as we can against Korea, but also to learn how to do that uh, with a very short turnaround in terms of preparing uh, to play big games and tournaments. So it's an important yeah. process for us. It's an important exercise for us to be able to do this and do it well. And, um, but at the same time, we're not going out on the court to lose. And we realize that, I mean, in fact, we've already read that the Korean coach felt that we were lucky to win the game. Yeah. And, and frankly, I think that's pretty rich of any coach to walk <laughs> off of a, uh, a game in which you lose the game and to claim that it was good luck on the part of your opponent. So um, we will make sure that that is highlighted. Um, and I'm sure that that will give our players a little bit of extra incentive. And uh, I don't expect that we will be going out there to make friends on Sunday. Justin, kamusta naman yung um, energy at yung pagsasama ng team, you know, uh, this, lalo na after nung panalo against Korea and then today leading up to the game. Can you share with us um, kung kamusta kayo sa, sa isa't isa, especially going into Sunday's game, uh, the next match? Sobrang blessed na natalo namin yung Korea. Uh, Lahat ng team nag-enjoy. And yun lang, uh, sa susunod na game na, na game namin sa Korea, uh, parang gusto, gusto pa namin uling talunin sila. How does it feel being a part of Gilas, Pilipinas and playing in your home province of Pampanga? Um, sobrang happy ko kasi, uh, lahat, uh, lalo na sa probinsya, sa probinsya, sa probinsya dito, uh, sa Pampanga, Malak, malaki yung suporta na binibigay nila sa, sa amin. Yun, yeah. Maganda yung, yung pinapakita na. Ganun. Thank you, Coach Tab Baldwin. Thank you, Justin Baltasar. And good luck in your next match. Thank you very much.